you know, it's always, it's always hard to know exactly how you draw connections between uh, undergraduate things and, um, and, uh, and entrepreneurship. But I, I, would, I would say one, one thing that's true of both philosophy and entrepreneurship is that at, at its best, they are very interdisciplinary. You know, it's, it's, uh, you know, philosophy, you're supposed to ask these very, very big picture questions that sort of connect all these different parts of the, of the world together. And as an entrepreneur, um, you have to do both. You both want to get the details of a product you're building right, but then it, it is interdisciplinary in that it's, you know, it's, it's a detailed product, it's, the, it's um, hiring people, it's the market, it's what are, what are other companies doing, where is the world as a whole going. And the, the, the good entrepreneurs somehow are able to combine uh, this sort of micro all the way up to this macro perspective. And I think, uh, I think that uh, I think one of the challenges in most academic settings is that people end up uh, specializing. Um, you know, it's all it's all micro, and uh, the entrepreneurship is interdisciplinary, which is always somewhat of a dirty word in academia because it sounds like you're a dilettante or something like that. If you're if you're interdisciplinary. Um, you know, freshman sophomore philosophy was actually more useful than junior senior year because mm -hmm. by the time you were a junior or senior, it was sort of these much narrower questions. Freshman sophomore, you talked about the big picture questions. Junior senior year, it was sort of much more very precise analytic uh, philosophy where you're sort of getting ready to be a grad student. I want to just ask a quick follow up on that, which is so you've been touring the country, speaking at a lot of campuses. Before this, you taught this class um, at Stanford or guest lectured at Stanford, I guess is the correct. Mm -hmm. Way to say it. I'm like, what have you been observing about business schools, about colleges, you know, today that maybe is different or strikes you um, as interesting relative to when you were an undergrad or grad student? You know, it's I'm not I'm not sure that <coughs> I'm not sure things have changed that much. I, I there certainly is a tremendous interest in entrepreneurship. There's a tremendous interest in um, in innovations. So I think that's. That's probably gotten much bigger in the last uh, 20 years. There's a sense that this is very important uh, for, for the future of our country, which I think was uh, less true. I think it's maybe a silver lining to the 2008 crisis, that you know, before 2008 there was a sense that people could do these conventionally tracked careers, uh, and there sort of is a sense that that's less, uh, less possible today. Um, I, I, would say, uh, I would say that... Um, from my way of thinking, uh, there still is a sense in which people are always a little bit too fixated on um, processes, on systematic formulas. And so even though the tracks are no longer working, people would then like there to be a track or a formula for, uh, for entrepreneurship. I'll, t I'll tell sort of one uh, slightly uh, indirect story to get at this. Uh, one, of the, one of the things I did on this book tour was on, uh, on uh, CNBC, the, uh, the TV show. Um, uh, the stock market TV show. I was sort of this guest co-host for three hours, and there's the, the sort of ideas to get you to say something controversial so that they, they get the ratings boosted. And after it was early in the morning, I was a little bit tired. After three hours, they sort of you know, we started talking about Twitter. It was like terribly mismanaged company, um, and uh, probably a lot of pot smoking going on there. And then, um, <laughs> and then you know, as I, as I was leaving the TV studio, Twitter um, stock is like diving as um, you're talking. The, about. the CEO of CNBC came up to me. He was smiling. It's like you did a fantastic job. We'd love to have you back anytime you want to come back. Oh <laughs> boy, what did I say here? Um, and then um, the, the uh, Twitter CEO had a tweet. Uh, it was uh, he, had, he ended up tweeting. You know, he had no time to comment on it since he was eating a large bag of Doritos. Um, <laughs> and um, uh, so it was all it was all sort of in good humor. But the uh, but the uh, but the larger context was that. Um, of, of that observation was actually um, was actually that um, that what matters is that you have a really good idea that you're doing something unique and that the the, the pro Twitter point is they did have that everything else got screwed up but it, you know if you actually got the one uh, orthogonal different idea right um, that that gives you a lot and then you can mess up on a lot of other things and still have a very successful company. Whereas if you did everything else right, so you know, no marijuana smoking, no uh, really good management skills, if you did everything else right and you ran the perfect restaurant, um, it, still, it still might not be a great business. So, I can tell uh, you're, I